Hope, do you have a message for your fans right now, Mr. Depp? I'm scared to death. I'm frightened and I don't know what to do. I'm confused and I want to go home. <laughs> After Johnny Depp lost his high-profile LaBelle case against the publishers of The Sun newspaper over a 2018 article that described him as a wife-beater, the actor announced that he has been asked to resign from the upcoming Fantastic Beasts 3. Danish actor Mads Mikkelsen was officially named as Depp's replacement in November after weeks of speculation over who would take on the role. Depp has vehemently denied the claims of abuse, but was denied the right to appeal the court's ruling after Justice Nichols said, I do not consider that the proposed grounds of appeal have a reasonable prospect of success. Depp had previously been in relationships with Renona Ryder from 1989 to 1993, Kate Moss 1994 to 1998, and Vanessa Paradise 1998 to 2012, but he struck up a relationship with her soon after meeting her on the set of 2009's The Rum Diary. Depp starred as Paul Kemp, a journalist who takes a job in Puerto Rico in The Rum Diary, based off of Hunter S. Thompson's book of the same name. Thompson was Depp's real-life friend and idol. Heard played Chenault, a woman engaged to another man, who Kemp is immediately smitten with as soon as he sees her. Heard split up with partner Tasia Van Rie at the same time. USA Today reported that Heard was arrested in 2009 on a charge of physically assaulting then girlfriend Van Rie at Seattle Tacoma International Airport in Washington. The two got into a disagreement after Heard allegedly grabbed and hit Van Rie's arm. All charges were dropped, however, with Van Rie herself saying that Heard was wrongfully accused by cops who misinterpreted and over sensationalized the incident. He wasn't taken seriously, and we all paid the price. Now, let's talk about how Johnny Depp faced violence from his wife. But even if he said anything, it would be passed off as non-genuine. But here's a retelling of one night that it happened. Next up, Johnny Depp tells us about the night Amber threw glass bottles at him, causing him serious injuries. Here's what he said. Basically, I had a pretty nasty injury. The first bottle went just past my ear, and the second one, she threw it from around two feet this distance, and it smashed into the bar, and the tip of the finger, this one, was shattered. Johnny's ex-wife, before he had been seduced by Amber Heard, spoke about it, and said that he was kind, attentive, generous, and was never violent. This called a lot of scrutiny to what Amber said, and whether she was lying. Unfortunately, she managed to cover up a lot of what was being said, and still had the effect on many people that she was the victim. What happened to Johnny Depp's acting style and proficiency after he married Amber Heard? His acting career completely changed after Johnny Depp divorced his wife after so many years and married Amber Heard. It's clear he was seduced by her, and slowly his career took a downward spiral. He started acting in lesser and lesser movies, and not the same way he was before. In Pirates of the Caribbean 4 and 5, it was revealed that he was so out of it that he had to have an earpiece in his ear while his lines were read to him, because he couldn't memorize the script. He started having financial issues, and even got into drugs and alcohol. This was proportionate to what was happening with Amber, but now we know a bit about her negative influence. It's clear how his relationship was taking a toll on his mental health, as well as his acting. Depp has a team of lawyers that are doing their best to make sure Johnny Depp's career is not affected in the proceedings of the case. He also sued The Sun for its tabloid-like article that spoke about Johnny Depp being a wife-beater, contributed to by Amber Heard. Amber had smuggled her dogs into Australia, and in her apology video she made about it, she was sharing the blame with Johnny Depp, who was clearly not at fault. When you disrespect Australian law, they will tell you firmly. In that video, Depp seemed a bit off and awkward perhaps because something else was going on in the background, besides the whole puppy smuggling problem. You might wonder why Johnny Depp stuck out with Amber when it was clear she was bad for him. The answer to that is just Johnny's nature. He's not the kind of guy that leaves a relationship when it's bad. His mother, for example, was extremely cruel to him, but he loved her till the day she died. He likely thought that if he could endure what Amber was doing to him, things might get better. But at last, that wasn't the case at all. One must wonder what would have happened if we realized these signals sooner. 
when he tried to warn us about Amber Heard. Just a few days before this video was being recorded, Johnny Depp lost his $100 million defamation cause against The Sun, who expressed their victory in a bullying and public appraisal-like manner. This is a sad time for all, and people around the world are supporting Johnny Depp. We hope he manages to recover as soon as he can, and that Amber Heard's true personality can be revealed. Till this point in the video, we were talking about how Johnny Depp tried to warn us about Amber Heard, both subtle and also publicly talking about it. Let's take a trip more into what this controversy was, and what exactly happened. What are we waiting for? Let's start. Depp was previously in relationships prior to 2009, with Winona Ryder, Kate Moss, and Vanessa Paradise. He also married Vanessa Paradise and had two children. He met Amber Heard in 2009 on the set of the movie The Rum Diary. In this movie, he played the role of Paul Kemp, who was a journalist that took a job in Puerto Rico. In the movie plot, Kemp is smitten with Amber Heard, who plays the role of Chenault, who was engaged to another man. She told The Vogue in 2011, It was better than I ever imagined, which is really saying something. His separation with Vanessa Paradise was announced in 2012, and he began dating Amber Heard by early 2012. He and Amber married privately in 2015, and he was spotted wearing a ring prior in public, as reported by The People's Magazine. It's probably a dead giveaway, isn't it? Not very subtle. Amber Heard filed for divorce on May 23, 2016. She also got a temporary restraining order against Johnny Depp, meaning he is not allowed in the radius of 100 yards near her. She alleged him of abuse, and said he physically abused her during their relationship, and told people that he threw his mobile phone at her face, causing her injuries. The police who were informed of the incident found no evidence of such an occurrence happening. After August 2016, they sent out a joint statement, saying that our relationship was intensely passionate and at times volatile, but always bound by love. Neither party has made false accusations for financial gain. Heard received $7 million from the settlement made in court, and she said she donated it to charity. Depp's and Heard's divorce was finalized in 2017, and Depp kept all his asset property such as his private island in the Bahamas, as well as his collection of classic cars and motorcycles. Quoted, she said, I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who speak out. Depp was never mentioned by name, only by intimation in a subtle and implicit manner. Depp then consequently sued Amber Heard over defamation in the Washington Post article. To help defend, Depp's lawyer said the op-ed depended on the central premise that Miss Heard was a domestic abuse victim and that Mr. Depp perpetrated domestic violence against her. In a court hearing, Amber Heard said she'd experienced physical and verbal abuse multiple times, and Johnny Depp was allegedly a wife beater. Amber Heard got to keep their two dogs which were involved in an Australian customs incident. A non-disparagement clause was also written, meaning that neither party could defame or make comments over their high-profile, somewhat volatile relationship. In 2018, however, she wrote an article for the Washington Post saying she was abused as an op-ed. She wrote about the treatment of women in scenarios like what she experienced and the repercussions of it.